day he walked into my life till the day he left. I was never with any man. I, I, I did not speak up because I was trying to protect him. My people, we never finish for Toto Dike and uh, Annie Dibia. Oh, Nae Nedu was to be a wife, Koko Masado. Conscata Itan is for us. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to Promise of the Regist. It is my lovely people. If now they be the first one that they come across to this YouTube channel, please try and subscribe and share this video and follow my Facebook page, Promise World. Now, it's twins. It first twins. It's your first twins. Seems like a good time to call useless me at you can't add the husband name at nedu wazobia i am tired hmm. you not finished for there you can't see right again how is nedu wazobia still hosting a marriage show on the radio like what the fuck come right down and come outside nedu wazobia not fit take come on now you say huh this one i do too much for this woman he go blast her do come carry he first on dna Test come as I say, if first or not be you said the woman they cheat on her. You know, finish for the cousin to say because the reason why he come off for the marriage is between with this wife, saying that because of domestic violence. So me, I not understand for whether the DNA the woman cheat or the woman they beat her. Whether I make her come off for the marriage, I don't know. Later I say the woman they cheat. Later I see na domestic violence. I make her come off for the marriage. The woman not grow. I do not fall out for her. But does it, he not want God this one with this man they talk. So he, what he want for this man be say, may they take care. Since he say one of the children not be you, may they take care of the two. May me just say they take care of responsibility. He will say, can we say before they do even know her, she never see any man up to now, even when they separate. I will watch the video, I hear where the woman for the user man till they talk can. And leave your opinion for the comment section. Stay with me for a promise store for the regions. See you for my next video. Bye for now. You people don't understand. I know you guys are just hearing it. But it is not and has never been a secret. This is a document that almost everybody has. Because I constantly get them from strangers. Like I don't. I'll just stay and somebody just sends it to my WhatsApp. I don't know you. People call me, people text me. It's been going on for a while. This is something he knows about. We both know. And for him, for every time I wanted to make a move to speak up, to find a way to just... See, I don't want a dubaco. I, I don't, I never want him back. I can't even stay in the same space with him. I don't want him back. I'm doing this for my children. So for every time I try to speak up or say something or do something, I get messages like from him. Oh, you that gave me another man's child. Oh, you that gave me another man's child. Now, I was seeing somebody before I met Nedu. I was in a relationship and that relationship ended. But before that relationship ended, Nedu had already sent my picture somewhere on our mutual friend's um, WhatsApp or so and then had been disturbing her to, you know, I, I, I need to meet this girl and all. You get, And shortly after that relationship ended, around that time I said, okay, you know what? Uh, my service here is coming to an end. I'll just, let me just go to Lagos and um, tell, you know, just, just come to Lagos. I have um, my half siblings in Lagos. So I, I came to Lagos and I met Nedu. Of course, I gave him headache, you get. And um, he seemed like a very cool person. I was like, hey, why not? Well, you know, he's totally different from some of the, you know, the guys I've been with. But I looked beyond the physical, you know, we, we vibed. We had a great time. Like the first day we met, it was 
awesome. We had a great time. We clicked. And I was like, you guys cool. I mean, we can give it a try. And then, as it was, you know, I found I was pregnant. Trust me, I didn't even think the other way. So, if, if you've seen the DNA report, I'm sure you saw the, the dates, the year, you know. So you can see when he conducted that. I mean, I'm hearing my team, everybody, you know, I'm hearing that um, on Twitter, they're saying he wanted to take them to Canada or something. And he decided to conduct the DNA. Let me tell you what happened. So, along the line, while we were still married, Nidu became insecure, very insecure. And he was doubting the paternity of my, my last child. The second girl. He went about telling, I mean, he, his colleagues were calling me and they, I heard things like, um, Nidu said you guys only had sex once and you say you're pregnant. Please, how many times do you have to have sex to get pregnant? So he was doubting the paternity of that child and he went to find out. Unfortunately for him, it was the first. Trust me, I knew he was going to do that. But that is, we all know that, well, I don't know about you guys, but that is so low. And with, oh, <laughs> I can't remember my child. If the world will stand against him, I will not. I am owning it. That is why I decided to tell my story and tell my truth. I always say I've made peace with God and that is what is important to me. My child will be fine. And what was funny about this whole thing was, while all these years he's been going about talking about this boy, making him look like the reason why, why we separated. The boy wasn't the reason. Now he goes about telling people about this boy, you know, saying all manner of things about my child. Then at home, he calls my son's phone and says, Daddy loves you. I miss you so much. That is going to do this for you. That is going to do that for you. So for us, we're giving him time to see, okay, is he trying to claim this child? You understand? Is he trying to now say, okay, you know what? Hey, shit happens. I'm going to love this boy. I mean, he's always known me. You get? But for what he did two days ago, we all know he doesn't deserve my son. He didn't even, as much as blur out his name, he put it out there. And it's fine. For me, I keep saying it to everybody. I didn't lock my page. I left it open. This is me coming out to the world, stark naked. Kick me. Spit on me, insult me, say everything you want to say. Judge me if that will make you feel better. As for me, I'm doing what will make me sleep better at night. He's my child, he's my son. And I said there, let us focus on the girls. This is why I'm speaking out. I'm not here to come and make him lose his job. I don't want him to lose his job. That's not why I'm here. I'm here for my girls. I know that they, they can have a better life. 